Many of our everyday items are getting smaller in a trend known as shrinkflation. The latest item is the Galaxy chocolate bar, which last month went from 110 grams to 100 grams, despite its retail price rising to £1.50 last year. The company Mars blames the rising costs of raw materials and operations. The British Museum has opened a hotline to help it track down around 2,000 missing artefacts that are thought to have been stolen from its collection. The vast majority are from its gems and jewellery collection, mostly from ancient Greece and Rome. The museum released these images showing similar artefacts. Among them are items such as a late Bronze Age finger ring, a Greek gold chain necklace, a Roman engraved gemstone and a Roman finger ring with an inscription. Well, the museum says at least 60 items have already been recovered, with a further 300 identified and due to be returned. Piles of rubbish line the streets of East London as refuse workers strike in a dispute over pay. Residents say the conditions are shocking. It's been difficult for the children and for the families. This is the entrance we use for children who are more vulnerable, um, so wheelchair access or children who need to come in through the main entrance. So for them, it's not been very pleasant. Well, this morning I had to cycle into work and I was dodging all the piles of rubbish on the pavement. It was actually a bit of a health and safety issue because obviously there's traffic running beside you. But could an end now be in sight? Also on tonight's programme. A greener way to get around or a danger on our streets? Where does London stand on the future of e-scooters? Plus... We've got the best fine dining restaurants in the world to some of the best casual restaurants in the world. A flair for food. We meet the Essex boy who became the youngest head chef at one of London's most prestigious hotels. And... You're going to walk out of this on a red carpet. Idris Elba, not quite as we know him, as the actor talks about the ever-merging worlds of Hollywood and gaming. A watchdog has warned Pentonville is unfit for prisoners to live or be re rehabilitated. A review by the jail's independent monitoring board highlighted overcrowding and issues with heating, water and vermin. A prison service spokesperson said it's taking urgent action, including major refurbishments, to boost capacity. A charity has warned families will need to pay more to travel as the one-day travel card is withdrawn. From next year, passengers will need to use contactless payment or Oyster cards instead. The changes are part of TfL's drive to save money. But the Campaign for Better Transport says the move will make travelling more expensive.